As we bring this to a close, I have a couple things I want to say to you. As your minister, and I want to give my uh, comments a title. It's an occupational hazard. And the title I want to give my comments is Appreciation. Because that's what I feel for you. When I think of what you've accomplished in the last five years, I want to name just a few of those things. In the past, past five years, you have transformed the function and practice of your board of trustees, built and empowered a real program council, increased the staffing here, more than doubled the number of children in religious education, gone to two services and two religious education programs, and grown the membership by nearly 40%. In the past five years, you've created a new vision and a new mission, created a long-range plan, rewritten our bylaws, and created comprehensive policies to guide our financial staffing and decision-making processes. In the past five years, you have drastically increased your annual budget and congregational giving. You've opened your, this facility to the Interfaith Hospitality Network, attracted a vibrant and active young adult group, and more. In the past five years, you've done comprehensive sexuality training and education with our youth, We've dedicated dozens of children, hosted maybe a hundred adult religious education classes, two national conferences, worked for affordable housing in Denver, equal rights for gay and lesbian citizens, contributed tens of thousands of dollars to local nonprofit agencies, created small group ministries, a lay, -led, a lay pastoral care program, and become recognized as a teaching congregation for aspiring Unitarian Universalist ministers, and the list goes on and on. You have been busy, my friends. Yeah. This has been due to incredible spirit and dedication on your part. I'm talking hundreds of volunteers putting their hearts and souls into the work of being the best church you can be. You have done this. And, you, and with very few, Mostly momentary exceptions, you have done it with grace and goodwill. <laughs> You've worked out disagreements with respect and cooperation. You have invested your time, your love, and your money. You have kept coming even when you were tired and burned out. You are the history, the lifeblood, and the future of First Unitarian Denver, and you should know that the word is getting out about you. In the last two years, you've taken the dream of making taking this making this beautiful and historic building fully accessible, and you have made it real, and it wasn't because you didn't have anything else to do or any place else to put your money. I am so proud to be a part of you. So proud to be able to walk with you on this great journey, to be a witness to your faithful living, and to lend my small effort to the larger ministry of our church. That's it. <laughs> Except that if you ever find yourself doubting the quality, the commitment, or the spiritedness of this congregation, I invite you to just step through this entryway and let this elevator lift you up again. <laughs> Ken, would you mind cutting our ribbon? We will rise.